We are honored today to have with us two people whose generous passion for education has very personal roots. Alan and Wendy Pesky founded the Lee Pesky Learning Center, headquartered here in Boise, in honor of their son Lee, who died in 1995 at age 30 from a brain tumor. As a child, Lee had to overcome certain learning skills and problems with organizing letters and numbers and words on a line or a page. The center that is created in his name focuses on giving children and adults with learning disabilities and those living in poverty the tools they need to succeed in school. The center also works with teachers around Idaho to give them the updated tools and information on the latest developments in teaching techniques and research findings. In conjunction with our College of Education, Lee and Wendy Pesky are here to honor four outstanding and inspirational K-12 teachers and their schools with the Pesky Awards for Inspirational Teaching. This award recognizes kindergarten through 12th grade teachers in Idaho who make a difference in the lives of their students through their passion and caring. Each of you graduating today is living proof that a college degree is possible and it's attainable. But it all started with a teacher who inspired you to do more. That's what these awards are all about. Recognizing those special teachers who have in our past made such a significant difference in our lives. Thanks to the Peskies, Boise State has the unique opportunity to call out its support for teachers across Idaho. Nominations for Inspirational Teacher were compiled from students in our own College of Education who are learning to become teachers of the future. Each of our four teachers being honored today will receive $2,000 and their schools will receive $500,000, $500 each. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're on the way to the bank already for that one. <laughs> Alan and Wendy Pesky and Richard Osgathorpe, Dean of our College of Education, please come forward to help with the recognition of these inspirational teachers. <laughs> Thanks, Alan and Wendy. And what I'm going to do is read just a brief description of what your fellow students who are aspiring to be teachers had to say about the, the teacher in their lives that made the difference. Sharice Davis teaches fifth and sixth grade at Owahi Elementary School in Boise. She is nominated by Boise State student Amber Bigelow, who had this to say about her inspiring teacher. The first two years of my daughter's schooling was frustrating. Then for third grade, we had Mrs. Davis. She spent our first parent-teacher conference outlining strategies that would help our daughter with homework and in the classroom. This 20-minute meeting forever changed our lives. She even offered to be an advocate for our daughter as long as she needed it, even into college. She changed our outlook on school and opened up the possibilities for success. Today, it is rare that an evening goes by when I don't think about Mrs. Davis, the teacher who gave us the power to help our daughter and advocate for her success. Several years ago, when major life changes had me looking for a new direction, I knew that I wanted to teach because I saw in Mrs. Davis what an amazing and lasting difference one teacher can make. Sharice Davis, congratulations. Rich Lapp teaches choir at Timberline High School. Kara Broxham nominated him with high praise. Again, Kara, one of your fellow students. Rich Lapp is the most phenomenal teacher I have ever had. His love for music carried over to his students. He also knew that we could be great, and he pushed us to be better each day. Mr. Lapp shaped my love for teachers and showed me the positive impact a good teacher can have on a student inside and outside of school. He taught me that caring and patience is key to being a good teacher. He was diligent and organized. We also had so much fun in the classroom where each student had a place and you were also important. He led with love and high expectations and he showed us that you sometimes must fail in order to succeed. In his classroom, we learned a lot about music, but we also learned a lot about ourselves. 
His style of teaching is what drove me to be a teacher. I hope that I can positively impact my students in the same way he has. Congratulations, Rich Lapp. Mary McGuire is a reading specialist at Horizon Elementary School in Boise. Her nominator, Stephanie Pickett, was significantly impacted by her teaching and had this to say. Having come from a broken home and a poor household, the search for basic necessities was a daily struggle. Mrs. McGuire was a teacher who taught me that it didn't matter what you faced at home, but that you came to school and gave it your all. I recall her being a working mother of two who was also working on a master's degree. It was during her class that I understood that an education was the only thing that could help you rise above your circumstances and that an education could never be taken away from you. Once I realized this, it was then that I knew I would become a teacher. It's been the single most influential decision in my life. What Mrs. McGuire taught me was not in the curriculum, but it is stuck with me. She is the one to whom I owe becoming a teacher. Congratulations, Mary McGuire. Brooke Roy teaches English, psychology, and advises the student council at Rocky Mountain High School in Meridian. Her nominator, Lauren Denny, had this to say. I enjoyed Mrs. Roy's teaching style and energy each day. She made you feel like you could accomplish anything and try new ideas because of the safe environment that she created. She put work and effort into making our school a better place, and she taught me that we each have the power to make a difference. She encouraged us to find a project that mattered to us, and she put, us, put in a great deal of time to help us accomplish our goals. Each day was memorable, and her teaching methods engaged every part of the brain. Now that I am finished with my teacher training, I understand why her methods were so effective. I love the way that she went the extra mile for her students. I want to become a teacher like Mrs. Roy because of the way she brought enthusiasm to her class. I want to be remembered like she is for encouraging students to do their best and for being there to support them. Congratulations, Brooke Roy. Thanks again to Alan and Wendy Pesky. This part of the program was their idea, their way of reaffirming the high value we place on teachers across the state of Idaho. And we thank them for doing this, for providing the funding, and making this a very special part of the program. <laughs> 